Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to talk about lists again, only using the object-oriented programming, OOP, ideas behind it. Okay, so we said list A equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 5, 1. And then we will say print A. And there we have it. But we are very limited in what we can do to this, right? How do we add to it, subtract it? We know how to get some of this information inside there, but we need to do a little bit more than that. So because list A is an object, right? All of these things, everything in Dart is an object, including this variable A, which is a list, type list. We can use it to, to use methods here. I'm going to add 33. So this will add to the end of this, right? Play around with this a little bit. There's some other things that we can do. We can remove at. So remove at is, let's go back there again. Remove at. So it says remove at. Notice the parentheses here. Notice parentheses right here. There is an int index. So it says that you want something in the index of type int. What does that actually mean? Well, the, the index is right here, right? The order of things. So if I remove number, so you're, what, what are you going to put inside here? It's an int. It's not going to be a string, a double, or anything. If I put like a 3, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3. It would remove the 4, right? So the four is gone right inside of here because we removed it. All right. I'm not going to go over too many of these things because it, it's not that difficult to, to review and just play around with. And I really encourage you to just play around with this a lot. Again, it's been a while since my last video. So just in case I think I forgot, um, hit control and space to bring a list of the potential or available methods with object-oriented programming in the Dart pad, okay? But let's look at a couple of these things. I just want to go through another, a few different more concepts here. A few different more, I'm, I'm not, is that English? Oh, whatever, but anyway, notice here, it says void in some things, and in some things it says bool, some things it says other things. I think this is saying int right inside of here. So what is it? This says string. What does that actually mean? Well, when you would think about object-oriented programming, when we use methods, you can do two things with a method. And the first thing we said was you return a value, right? So for example, I have a cake and I have a friend who's looking at the cake and I'm a little bit of distance away. And so I have to ask him, I have to use a method, right? What is the shape of the cake? He looks at the cake, looks up and it says, it's round. Okay, good. So he returned a value to me saying that it is round. So my method is shape of the cake. So in other words, it would be something like cake.shape, right? So it'd be what's cake.shape, that would be the object, and this is the method, and he would say it is round, right? But what if I wanted to do something to the cake, right? It's an object. You could do stuff to it. So I wanted him to just cut the cake. I don't want you to give me any information. I just want you to do something for me, okay? Can you please cut the cake in three pieces? Well, four pieces will we'll be kind of nice. So it would be something like cake.cut four pieces, right? So you would actually have him cut it, but you're not actually returning any information, right? You're just saying do something. So methods can do two things. They can do something to the object, and they can return some information about the object. So in here, some of these things are bool. You're going to ask Dart Editor to return information in the type of bool. So contains, let's say, for example, contains. Let's actually do it right here. A dot contains object element. So you're going to have to put some type of object 
because it doesn't know which one, and the element right inside of here. So if this object contains um, three, what's it going to return? True, right? What does it contain? Zero? That is false. So what we're saying is object.contains, it returns a value of a bool. So you would print the value of the bool, right? Now, what if you said a dot add 44? Now, because add was a void, right? We just said, we said that right now, add void. You're not actually returning anything, are you? So you cannot really, re what, what are you printing? There's nothing to really print, right? So I will, for example, same cake analogy. I will repeat what you return to me. So if I say, what is the shape of the cake? Your friend tells you um, it's round. Then I say, or print, it is round, right? But what if I ask you to, can you cut the cake? Oh, cut it in four pieces. He cuts it into four pieces, or you cut it in four pieces, whoever. You cut the cake in four pieces. What am I going to print now? What am I going to repeat? There's nothing for me to repeat because you returned no information to me. So interestingly, if I printed this, this actually gives me, I think this is the length, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it adds that. So it's giving me the length. I don't know why. I think that's a bug, but it shouldn't actually be doing that. It probably should be returning an error more than anything else. So keep this in mind. So sometimes I noticed I had the a dot add right here. Because you're doing something to the object, but you're not returning anything. As opposed to the print, you need some value to actually print. And if you have no value right here, you have nothing to print. See? So, so that's what we have to keep in mind. So what void basically means is you don't return anything. If you're gonna if you're gonna return something, you can type it, right? So what are you going to return? You're gonna return true. Therefore, the type is a bool, right? Or you're gonna turn return 57. 57 is an int, so the type is int. But if you don't return anything, like right here, the the method will be a void. And when you think about it, that's why main has void in front of it because it's the starting point. Where are you going to return any information to main? I mean, what what information? This is the main thing. You you can't return information to yourself, right? So that's why you could put void in front of it. You don't have to, but this is the best way to actually type it itself. All right. So we want to type things as much as possible. Let the Dart editor, the Dart pad, help us as much as we can. All right. I hope that was clear. If it's not, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section itself. Thank you.